you want, but there's a lot of optimization with PSLF. And you know, if it, one of the things that, that folks have to consider is that the way they calculate your monthly payments for public student loan forgiveness is based off of an income driven repayment calculation. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means as your income goes up or perhaps your income goes down, hopefully that's not happening, but as your income goes up, your monthly payments are gonna go up. So they're using your adjusted gross income, your AGI to calculate your monthly payment. Now for the financial nerds that they're listening, they're thinking, Ooh, what could I do to impact my AGI, right? Because if I can lower my AGI, not by making less, but by making some strategic moves, might I reduce my loan payment and therefore increase the amount that's forgiven? And the answer is yes, right? So there's things like 401k contributions, HSA contributions, those lower your adjusted gross income, reduce your student loan payment and the income driven repayment model, increase the amount that's forgiven tax-free and your saving during that time period.